but holding back it's also holding back the voice emblematic of our history quiet on the set weak version catalysis for 1970-71 Adrian Piper walking down the road with a scarf in her mouth gag primary, but perhaps not so weak, I offer up the violence of imposed silence. Or, oh, holding back again, radical and gory version, Paul Mark Coffee, Hot Dog, 1974, stuffing sausages into the mouth until nothing. Something that won't go in and that can't come out. Abject voluntary gesture. Paul holds the sausage in with a bandage around his head. So, obviously made dumb by force. Obviously dumb. Is he swallowing or vomiting? It is the same thing. The sausage is indigestible. He is unmanageable. Indigestible and more literally unspewable. The stupefied public are taken hostage. If I vomit in front of him, he will vomit too and choke. So, the supreme irony of the situation is that Mark Coffey is taking advantage of this in order to reconcile the negative critics and spectators of the trash performances. Like a France Dimanche journalist complained in February 1975 on the subject of body art, they call that art? It makes me throw up. Precisely. <laughs> no transition, forced gesture, escaping. Escape, run, get away, steal away, you're back to history. The best defense, them always. Escape in order not to have to explain, in order not to have to speak, just run. Roadrunner and Willy Coyote in the desert. Roadrunner version. Optimism, I liberate myself, a breath of life, come out of the canvas to breathe. Oxygen. Founding an emblematic gesture by Saburo Murakami as early as 1956. Breaking through many paper screens. I tear everything in my way. Nothing can stop me. I am roadrunner. I traverse, I cross mountains, I get away, breathing. At the end of the tunnel, life. Simplified athletics challenge. The 200 meters through the hurdles. As easy as picking my nose. The other side of the coin, Willy Coyote's version, 14 years later, asthmatic and suicidal, absurd, desperate, and to sum it up, California, <laughs> by Barry Lovra. Velocity Peace, 1970. I throw myself at the walls until I'm exhausted. Or to be more precise, I don't push against the wall. I escape. But it is impossible to escape. A magnificent and upsetting fiasco, like a claustrophobic swallow in a stable of levity or a fly. I bash against the window. Stop. <clears throat> but in fact, all of that is conscious and sublime. Just to the limit of my body, 
awakening coming and going. Ces effets démontrent l'impossibilité de perpétuelle motion. Because a man tires, damages himself, gets hurt, traces of blood, no possible way out. Or perhaps a way out by a fifth gesture, aiming, new position, threatening, no further recourse is possible. As if, in the 1960s, art had got through the gates, past the century. Diplomatic procedures exhausted. Now, we shoot. The Big Bang in the 60s is Niki de Saint-Fal. I am firing at tubes of paint, concentrating on the target, Point and shoot. Calamity Jane. This posture is strong, virile, clear. More than the pseudo subversive action of pictorial murder, it is the form of the gesture which is important. Portrait of the artist as a killer. Turn the situation around. Vengeance. The painter adopts the pose of a Napoleonic soldier in Goya's tableau. Ready? Aim? Fire! But, just a few years later, Chris Burden, again, rewrites a desesperate version of the scene. Not clear. Ridiculous. I shoot at the Boeing 7047 in flight. Certainly, it's not dangerous. It might be more romantic, but potentially an aeroplane is the target. So you don't really believe in it, and yet, why not? This is subversion like disobedience to parental instruction. You don't aim. Not even for fun. An attack more like take off forbidden, obligation to end. Burden brings it all back to the ground, breaking the wings of planes. Literally, I'm bringing you down. So go on, everybody on the ground, flat on your face, hand on your head. Because we're talking about getting down, six gesture. Falling. Inaugural gesture, Yves Klein, 1960, Le Sol en Vide, jumping into the void. Yves throws himself into the air from the outside wall of a bourgeois house in the Parisian suburbs. But I don't fall, I take off. Camera trick is sure, but what a result? I fly. Erection, Icarus, head in the clouds, drawn toward the ether, in the sky, a negation of the body's weight, is a flight of the enunciating angel, orbiter, the ascension, on his way to immortality. Anyway, grotesque and pathetic variation by Bass <coughs> Young Adair. The Fall Guy, Fall 2, 1970. I am cycling along a canal in Amsterdam and I throw myself into the water. Look. It's hardly voluntary, it's undemonstrative, passive. It's more of an accident of destiny. Nobody's fault, hardly his. Well, he's not even hurt, just ill adapted to the world. Social suicide, crying a river of no return, as touching as a bottle in the sea. Besides, it was a premonition. Adder passed away in a tragic manner many years later, drowned at sea. <laughs> <laughs>